Hello again, welcome to today's upload. My name is Stacey, I am a mess in a dress, and today we're going to be talking about all of the books that are currently on my Kindle Unlimited list. Now, if you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, Basically, it's a subscription service like Netflix or Now TV, but specifically for books. It's run through Amazon and it is a $7.99 a month, I want to say. That is Great British Pounds. I wouldn't have a clue what it is in other countries. Basically, it's run through Amazon and they have a series of books which are eligible for Kindle Limited and you can pick and choose which ones you want to read. You can have 10 books in your library at any one given time and once you've read it you just return it and then you pick another one. For a really really long time I personally would only have Kindle Limited if it was on offer so you sometimes get a three months for 99p or something along those lines and then it suddenly occurred to me that I get so much use out of my Kindle Limited subscription. I can read anything from 20 to 30 books a month, I absolutely rip through them and I get to try new things, they're all different genres, they're all different kind of styles of book. I obviously mainly go for romance but there's other things on there as well. It's a great chance to try new authors that maybe you don't know about and you wouldn't necessarily risk buying a book if you had to spend money on it. And for me I realised that it is absolutely great value for money, I more than get my money's worth out of my subscription and now I don't think I could be without it. So let's get down to what I currently have on my Kindle. So first up is a book that I mentioned in my December Roundup video and that is With This Kiss. This is an anthology of books so it's actually got, I can't remember exactly how many, it's maybe eight, maybe nine, and they're all full length novels, they're the first in their respective series and I'm loving it so far. I've read three or four of them so far and it's really great and to say that I've paid absolutely nothing for it just blows my mind. It's also through this book that I read my first Kerrigan Byrne novel which started a whole new obsession for me. I absolutely love them and so I'm very very pleased I picked this book up. So the second book on my list is Wicked's Scandal by Kathleen Ayres and I actually read this book earlier today but I'm not going to talk about that now because I'm going to save that until my January roundup. I love historical romances and I must admit that the kind of genre I find the most hit and miss on Kindle Unlimited, some of them I absolutely adore and some I'm not so keen on, this one I absolutely loved and I think there are loads of her books that are on Kindle Unlimited so I will be binging my way through all of those in the next month prepare to hear a lot about that later. So next up we have Mr Grumpy Boss by Lindsay Hart. I mean what a title is that and that's very much the kind of books I'll usually read on Kindle Limited. They're very tongue-in-cheek, they're a bit silly and they're usually very sexy and lots of fun. I'm pretty sure I've read something by Lindsay Hart before although I can't think what it was so I'm gonna have to go back and check her kind of um, back catalogue to see what that was. So the synopsis of this book says that it starts off with her boss finding a diary where she'd wrote loads of kind of secret thoughts she'd had about her boss, some of which are not suitable for work, and then he asks her to be his fake girlfriend. So it sounds very convoluted, very silly, and exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for from a Kindle Unlimited romance book. So the next book on my list is Riot House by Callie Hart and I absolutely adore Callie. Her books are so fantastic. She actually wrote one of my favourite kind of dark romances of all time which is the Dirty Nasty Freaks trilogy which is about a hitman and him falling in love with one of his targets. Oh that was such a good series. I loved it. I have actually read her Riot House before and this happens a lot with me with Kindle Limited because I read so many books so quickly. I'll read it and then I'll kind of forget which one exactly that was. Some of them can be quite similar in themes. And she's just recently released the sequel, which is Riot Rules, I think. Um, and I didn't want to read that one until I'd refreshed my memory on Riot House. So I'm going to give it a quick reread. And also, I didn't track my reads on Goodreads and I didn't review them and things when I first read this book. So it gives me a great opportunity to do that now, to see what I think and then go into the rest of the series. I'm very excited. I'm sure I liked it. Like memory tells me I loved it. So looking forward to revisiting that one. Next up we have My Cover Model by R.L. Kenderson and this one the synopsis says is about a romance author who falls in love or is attracted to the cover model for her books. It sounds so interesting. I can't wait to get stuck in. I'm fascinated to see where that story's going to go and I mean, being about a romance author, you've got to hope it's going to be a bit steamy. Okay, the next book on my list is actually another one that I've read before but can't really remember. And it's Dear Ava by Isla Madden Mills. I saw this featured on somebody's booktube, I really can't remember who it is, I'm sorry. Um, and I saw a few people talking about it and I thought, I'm sure I've read that one and I'm sure I liked it, but I don't remember it very well. 
I know I've read a lot of Isla Madden Mills's books before and I've liked all of them. I find them really kind of a good combination of angsty without being too down. I don't want to be dragged down too much when I'm reading a romance novel and they all have good endings that I enjoyed. So I thought why not read it again and then I can track it and record it and review it and actually see what I really thought of it. So next up we have Little Dove by Layla Frost and this one I'm pretty sure I saw on Crystal's Bookish Life's YouTube. I find so many recommendations on her channel it's not even funny and this one sounds like it's a bit of a dark romance. I seem to remember she said there was an age gap element to it and maybe a cat to cap to element to it? I can't remember. Anyway it sounds right on my street, exactly the kind of thing I enjoy reading and I am very much looking forward to get started on that one. Kind of along a similar theme is The Villain by LJ Shen and this one for reading the synopsis is a little bit vague, it just talks about the hero being a bit of an anti-hero, he's a bit of a villain, it sounds like it's got Hades and Persephone vibes, it sounds a little bit of a dark romance, it sounds exactly the kind of thing I enjoy, I can't wait, I'm very excited to see what's going on in this book. Okay so next up on a very similar theme, I'm a bit of a dark romance addict and Kindle Unlimited do some amazing ones, is Untouchable which is a dark bully romance by Sam Mariano. Now according to my Kindle I have read this one already? I'm not sure I remember it, although I will say a lot of the covers, I mean this is the cover, and a lot of the titles are quite similar so sometimes it can be hard to distinguish one from the other so I'm a bit intrigued I'm just gonna see if I can find the synopsis to figure out which one this is so it sounds like it's a high school bully romance um it features a star quarterback who's a bit of an asshole lot of an asshole and the girl who stands up to him. It has a huge content warning on it, it talks about how there are loads of triggers and things that people will find disturbing and not to read it if you are of a sensitive disposition. I'm not, doesn't bother me at all. Um, I can't remember which one it is so now I have to reread it like immediately and find out which one it is so I can come back and tell you. I went through a phase a while ago where I read an awful lot of bully high school romances and I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say a lot of them blended together so I'll be back and tell you which one it is when I can remember. And then finally I was ridiculously excited to discover that some of Kerrigan Burns books are on Kindle Unlimited. This never happens, you never get actually kind of popular well-known authors on Kindle Unlimited and that's probably been massively unfair because I'm sure there are loads but I never ever get authors that I kind of go looking for on Kindle Unlimited. This one I'm ridiculous excited about so it's Courting Trouble which is the second in the Good Girls book which is the one that follows Seducing a Stranger which I absolutely adored so I cannot wait to see how good number two is and it's on Kindle Unlimited so I get to read it for nothing. Don't get me wrong I keep an Amazon wishlist of Kindle Unlimited books which I really really enjoyed which I do plan to go out and buy and own because I want to be able to reread them time and time again. I have no doubt this is going to end up on that list. I have no doubt that by the end of 2021 I'm going to have every single Kerrigan burn book. She may have to have her own shelf in my room if I'm honest. I may have to get her a space, clear out some room for her but still the fact that I get to read it now without even having to wait for it to be delivered, so exciting, love it. And there you have it, that is all the books currently on my Kindle Unlimited list. I have got some serious reading to do in January, I'm very excited. I've just recently got really back into reading them again and I've been whipping through them. I've read like three books today I think. I usually rattle through my Kindle Unlimited books. Um, I find ebooks really really quick and easy to read and because of that my Kindle Unlimited list changes really really frequently so even now there are books here that need to be returned and sent back and I need to get new ones because I've already read them. I love it. I love that it's that fluid. I love that it saves me so much money because I don't have to buy um, each new book that I want to buy, want to read. And what's great is I believe the authors get paid per page. So for every page that's read, they get like a percentage of the Kindle Limited subscription fees, which is great. So the more you read of your favourite authors, the more money they're going to make. And if you love reading, if you read a lot, and if you are open to trying new things and trying new authors, then I really, really, really recommend you give Kindle Unlimited a go. This is not sponsored, this is just me, an avid reader who uses it all the freaking time. I'm off to go and read some of these books now, especially the ones that I can't remember which ones they are, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!